this is Flappy Bird. It's a mobile game made by this guy, and it made millions of dollars. One day, it was mysteriously removed from the App Store, and since then, hundreds of people have tried to replace its glory. Well, I'm going to do the exact same thing, except in 3D. As usual, the first thing I did was create a new Unity project. Now, I wanted this game to look sexy, so I used Unity's high-definition render pipeline. I wanted the game to be from the first-person perspective, so I added a script to the camera and made a ball start flying around. I also apparently turned it into a chess game. I got to work making a fancy grass texture and modeling some pipes, and before you know it, I had some crazy awesome gameplay. But shortly after, I threw everything away and changed the graphics. I also added a third-person camera controller instead of Unity, Unity's Cinemachine package. After that, it was time to once again focus on graphics. I stole a ducky from a nice man online, and then I stole some buildings too. Now Mr. Ducky was fine, but I felt like he wasn't a great fit for me. And once I met Pito, it was all over for Mr. Ducky. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I wrote a generation script, and then I pretty much had Flappy Bird. Which is what noob game developers say. No, 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 no. I was just getting started down this rabbit hole. The next thing I did was add those buildings to my generation. Then I added some logic to make the player stand still before the game starts and bounce around once you die. I made the smart decision to keep adding functionality to the game, so I made some UI, a score counter, and finished the gameplay loop. At this point, I literally had a fully functional game of Flappy Bird. So you may be asking yourself, why has the video just begun? That's... that's a really good question. This perfectly working game wasn't good enough for me, so I fooled around with the graphics for 20 minutes before going from the sexy HDRP to the less sexy URP. That was worse. It stressed me out, so I just created a new project and tried to copy everything over, but it wasn't better. Wow, look at that, you can actually like see the player now. That's so great. I got it working and fooled around with some post-processing. Can I just say for a minute how amazing post-processing is? Look at how much better it looks just from tweaking some values. Everything was great. Except for one thing. Pipes don't float like that in the real world. So I did the only thing that makes any logical sense, which was to have magical floating clouds that hold them up instead. And I have to say, it looked a lot better. I spent an hour just making sure the camera view didn't reset when you restart the level, because it felt a little janky before. Now, if you're a real Flappy Bird enthusiast, and have ever tried to borrow some Flappy Bird assets, you'd notice that there's a night theme. I've never actually played the original Flappy Bird, so I don't know if that's official, but I don't care. I thought that since I'm making Flappy Bird, I would stay true to the random assets I found online and also make a night scene. I went with sort of an evening look, and then I changed my code to load either the day or the night scene at random. Of course, I wasn't happy with it, so I changed it again to make it more of a midnight scene. This was the part where I would decide to either just be happy with what I had and live happily ever after, or if I was going to add a main menu and sound effects and better UI and music and waste a ton of time on it. I chose the more exciting option. The first step was making a menu, and I had the idea of it looking just like the level, and then when you press the play button you start straight into the game, like the original Flappy Bird. I kind of scrapped it and just made a nice 3D menu instead. I also cleaned up the game over UI a lot too. I added a high score, and then it was time for sounds. I once again borrowed some things from the interweb, and ended up with some forest ambience. I threw in an old audio system from one of my other games, and then I spent HOURS fixing a bug. Okay, you'll never guess what the problem was. I just spent three hours fixing this bug, and you'll never guess what the problem was. That. That was it. THREE HOURS! 
I added a flap sound effect, made you splat when you die, added a point scoring sound, and I was pretty much finished. I'm going to put the link to the game in the description so you can download it on itch.io for free. Go check it out, subscribe, and enjoy some breathtaking Flappy Bird gameplay. Thank <laughs> you. 